Hi everyone. Um, the the two stage rocket in this figure is fired vertically from rest at uh, position is zero with the acceleration shown. Um, after 30 seconds, the first stage A burns out and the second stage B ignites. What what is the vertical position S at T is equal to 50 seconds? Um, actually, this question can be a bit nasty for the exam because it's a bit confusing for you. Anyway, I'll try to go step by step and not a skip a stage. So you just follow me. What am I doing? Um, the thing is that the acceleration for this, I mean, the first 30 seconds is just linear. Um, so we need to find out. And the acceleration here from 30 to 60 seconds is just constant. What we want to find out, we want to find out the position or how far it has gone to the sky after 50 seconds. Um, before I start solving this question, I would tell you that if we have the position uh, with respect to time and we have velocity with respect to vt and then at, if you want to go from position to velocity, we can easily do that. We need to derive it. And actually, we can easily do the backward. If, I mean, for this one, the same thing. If you want to go, we can derive that. If you want to come backward, we need to integrate. Uh, Suppose that we have the acceleration, if we want to find that velocity, we need to integrate it. And if we want to find out the position, we need to integrate twice. That, that, that will happen here because we are given the acceleration. We need to find out the position. So we need to integrate the acceleration twice to get the position. So let's start uh, from zero to the t is between 0 to 30 seconds. The acceleration is, as I said, linear. Um, for this one, um, it is just we need to find out the gradient of this line. It is not very difficult. Uh, you need to get the rise over run. So this is our rise, which is 12 seconds. And then run is, uh, sorry, that's 12 meter per square second. And then the run is 30. Or it is equal to now nah, just let's keep it at this one, but don't forget the unit. The unit here is meter per second square. And from from uh, t is equal equal to or oh, between sorry um 30 seconds to 60 seconds, the acceleration is as I said constant is 24 meter per second or square. Uh, so if I want to find that velocity here, it's not really difficult. I need to integrate it once and get to velocity. So the velocity would be just uh, the integral of that one, which is um, the t would be t squared. Uh, then we have 12, 30 times 2 is 60, uh, which is equal to 1 t squared. And if I just sub in the values for t between 0 to 30, so I said 1, 5 times 30, all is squared we would get 180 meter per second. So we need to use this one for the second stage. So here we have the velocity of t is 180 plus. Now the integral of 24 with respect to t, 24 um, dt, um, which is equal to 180 
plus 24 is, and the bound of integration is between the lower bound is 30, the upper bound is 2. It is 180 plus 24 once times e 24t minus 24 times 30, which is equal to so the velocity of t would be uh, 24 t minus 540. Just subbing the values to your calculator. So we have the velocity at both uh, places. Now we need to integrate this one once more to get to the position and use it to get their position from t is equal to t is between 30 to 60 or 50. Um, so if I just integrate this one one more time, so we have one fifth t squared. Now we need to integrate it with respect to t. We would get t cubed, um, then one over 15. And again, we need to sub in the values between 0 to 30, uh, which give us yeah, 1 over 15, then t30 cubed uh, should be 1800 meter. Again, we need to use this one for the last stage. So the position from 30 to 60 is uh, that 1800 we have. And then we need to integrate this one plus integral of 2040 minus 540 bt, uh, which is 1800 plus uh, 24t, t would be t squared, then divided by 2, it should be 12t squared minus 540t, and this bit is uh, from 30 to 50. If you just sub in the values, you would get 100, uh, sorry, 1800. I'm not going to skip a step, so plus um, 12 with t is 50 squared minus 540 times t, which is 50, then minus uh, 12. Now this time, uh, instead of t, we would put 30 squared. Then again, minus times this minus, which is plus 540 times 30. So would be 1800 plus, and this whole bit would be 8400. So 1800 plus 8400 would be 10,200 meter. This is our position after uh, 50 seconds.